Okay, in this demo, we're going to look at how to start and stop an audio sound using the media player available in Android. So here's an example of what we're going to create. We're going to hit play. And then stop to stop the sound. Okay, so let's go in. I'm going to show you how to set this up. Okay, to set up this project, you want to create a new project. And I just named mine Audio Demo. I've set up my main XML file so that it has a play and a stop button. I've created a new folder in here called RAW, and I've added my MP3 file. So what you would do is in over the resources folder, you can just right click and choose new folder and then name it raw. And then simply drag in uh, a sound file that is in the proper format that is readable. And that's all I needed to do in order to set this up. Now I'm gonna go into my main Java file and I already have some other code set up in here already. Uh, nothing that you probably haven't seen already before. Uh, references to the two buttons. So we're referencing the play button and stop button. And these were the names of them that I set up for the ID. And then I have two on-click listeners set up, one for the play button. So our code of what we want to have happen when the play button is clicked will go in here. And then another one set up for the stop button and the code that we want to have run when the stop button is clicked will go in this on click listener. Okay, so to begin with, since I want the media player, remember the media player is what will take care of playing audio and video. So I'm going to create a media player object. I'm going to do it up here right after the main class begins because I want to be able to access it in both the play on click listener and the stop on click listener. So I'm just going to call this media player, which is our class name, and I'm going to call it MP. And I need to come in and import the media player. So now I can reference the media player as MP in both my on click listeners. So I'm going to come down here now. This is the play button. So I'm going to say I want my media player. And that's going to be equal to media player and I want it to create a media player in this context which is my main context so since I'm in an anonymous inner class I have to specify that uh, we're in the main context so main dot this and this is referring to the resource ID right the resource ID is the name of the sound file that we want to play so just like we go out and we get the resource or the reference to these buttons and other elements in our interface, I'm going to do the same thing if this is going to be R, only this time it's in the raw folder and I have my MP3 file name in there. So that clear creates the media player and using this specific MP3 file. And after that, I want it to start playing. So I'm going to use the media player and when you start to type this in, it recognizes that it's a media player object. And this gives you an idea of all the kinds of things that you can do with your media player. So pause and reset it and uh, check to see how long it is and when it's done playing. So um, you can take a look at these to get an idea of the kinds of things that you can do with your media player. But we're just doing a simple start and stop in this example. So I'm going to say start and that will start our player and along the same lines our stop button has an on click listener set and so when that's clicked it won't be too hard to figure out that we want it to actually stop so we can come in here and choose a stop from our available methods right and so that should do it so if I save this and test it in my emulator now sometimes, depending on your emulator, you may not get the best results in playing this. Mm -hmm. 
and it works. So just a reminder too that when you're getting ready to test this, first of all to make sure you do have the sound turned up on whatever you're testing it on. And if you do have any problems hearing the sound from your emulator, uh, if you have a device that would be the next best thing to try it on, or actually the first best thing. So that's setting up and playing a sound and also learning how to control it through stopping it. Now one other thing that you may, I would recommend that you do, is on our stop button after we stop it, uh, let's release. It's a good idea to release it so that um, you know, if we keep starting and stopping and starting and stopping, we get possibly multiple versions of this media player um, taking up resources. So we're going to release it each time it's stopped, and then we'll test this again. So it still works. So not too bad in order to include our sounds in there and being able to control them. Enjoy.